All right, so I have a 2020 Pete 567 with a Cummins X15 and engine light on. We have an active code for diesel exhaust fluid actual dosing quantity. And when I check the troubleshooting on this, high after treatment diesel exhaust fluid flow detected. And I look through this. Check the shop talk. Saying malfunction after treatment diesel exhaust fluid dosing unit. A malfunctioning after treatment diesel exhaust fluid dosing valve. So, going to go grab one of those and take the old one out and swap it out and see what happens. Okay, I don't have any way to hold the phone, so I'm going to pop this off and then show you where the valve is. It's a 13 millimeter socket. We got four bolts here and four bolts on the bottom of the step there. Okay, so that's the step off. Next is this bracket. And I already took the bolts out, but need an 18 millimeter socket. There's four bolts you take out there. And then up top here, there's also four bolts, but these have a nut on the back side, so you need a wrench also. And then we're going to remove this step bracket. Now here's the dosing valve. You need a 10 millimeter wrench. Kind of hard to get a socket in there. You get all three of these off. Got two, two lines here, def lines that need to be disconnected with these and then we can swap this out or take a look at it so the way these lines work you squeeze these tabs here together and I usually try to push down on this with my other hand and then pull it up and it'll pop off there and I'll show you what that looks like in a second probably gonna be impossible with one hand so I'll pop that off and show you and this is the official Cummins part uh, part number 5578983, and it does come with the uh, little spacer piece here. I'll show you that in a second, too. That part number 5418557, but that does come with the injector. Get this opened up in a second and show you that also. Okay, this goes on the base underneath this. These are our lines here. Well, you can see these that are where that's where those lines are connected on there where you have to pinch those tabs. And this that is where the uh def sprays into the uh, after treatment system. You can see it has like these kind of soft um don't really know what these are made of, but they're uh, like a when you squish them down, they seal up on there. So I got these lines off, and there's arrows actually too. That's arrows leaving. This one's coming in. Um, if you ever have a code for the heaters, the line heaters going bad, these are actually the line heaters right here. Those little wires in there. So I've had to replace a couple of those also. So this is what it looks like. That's where these were latched on there okay the three bolts are out so it says this is overdosing so I'm going to take this plug off here and to do that I usually take a flat blade and carefully work this yellow piece outward that slides out and then you can pull the plug off Also going to clean that out in there too. Okay, so these break very easily. Every time I change an after treatment harness, I save these. And if you look, there's little tabs in there, one on each side. All you do is push those in and you can pop this out and replace it. I got a whole drawer full of these things because like I said, they break very easily. And that's it. Okay, back together, gonna put the step bracket on and the step, and then we will clear the code. Okay, so on inside here, when the codes are inactive, you can click this right here, and that will bring up the prompt to shut the key off for 100 seconds, and 
as you can see no false detected in ECM and on the dash engine light and the wrench are gone warnings at faults no warnings so we are all set that was the answer there switching that doser valve